welcome back everybody so this is King Ray Ray on the magic world so this will be day two I have not had internet whatsoever but I continue to make um goodies what I wanted to do what's an infinite orb Oh wow. Huh. Sorry, I am a bit tired. I did not sleep well last night. Okay, there are a few things that I'd like to do today. The first thing is we will be hanging up our diamond armor. thinking why would you do such a thing well it is because this is what we're about to do so let's um, move all this over here table voila we are going to make mage outfit <sighs> same with this that these are the shoes. Wait, they're not the shoes? No. <laughs> it is the breastplate, the ropes. Yeah, there we go. Finally, we get to the shoes. We don't want to go barefooted, do we? get to that recipe here shortly because we got some experience points I want to spend on this armor and what better way to do it than over here
Let's slow fall. Come on now. The fiery aura. Maybe protection one. Enchant. Okay. Let's try this next. So I'm going to do a level 1 on that. Alright. Now we've got the helmet to do. Unbreaking 1. Reading. Um, let's do it. Oops. <laughs> okay, so where is it? Unbreaking one. Protection one. Enchant. There we go. Now we need that. Mm, haste. That's four. Yes, I do. There we go. Now we've got a nice little thing. Oh, yeah, and that feather falling looks good. And we got a fiery aura. I wonder what that's all about. Well, it is nighttime, so why don't we ju go check it out, shall we? Oh, it's raining. Oh wow, I've got a jump boost from my armor, kind of interesting. Is my monsters turned on? I noticed whenever I turn my monsters off in my test world, it turns them off in my game world also. Yay for feather falling. <laughs> oh, I wanted to show you something I did over there, too. <laughs> Aha! Bam! 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 I'm on die already, man. Too good for you. Too good for you. Oh, you're dead. Okay. Okay, so I've been doing well with breeding my sheep. And you probably all remember that I've been having um cow troubles. Well, not anymore. With this, it solves my problems. Get that ready. <laughs> so, I found some cows. Put the adult cows in here. I take some wheat or some, um, let's see here. Hay or whatever that was. 
spam the right click get all the adults lovey dovey they make babies turn that on and the adults are burned but not the babies the babies stay alive the adults burn to death drop their steak and leather inside of hoppers underneath them which is connected to this large chest and voila an automatic cow machine honestly I don't know why I have this here but this is the main timer right here I had to put different timings and do a lot of testing just to figure out hey this might work alright so another thing I'd like to do this episode is oh, I'm not tall enough to do that yet there we go don't have to use up my arcane energy oh I wanted to show you this too so you guys remember I had a diamond crop here well now I have glowstone and skeleton glowstone skeleton creeper creeper so I got some goodies going on there okay so what you're probably wondering is what the heck is this over here well it is going to be a new farm for me so what I do is I need to make condensed splash serums this is a reliquary mod from that I need to surround it with bone meal to make splash fertilizer serum. Now, from there, you put a lily pad in the middle and surround it to make the lily pad of fertility. Quite an expensive one, trust me. Wow, what is with all the mobs not spawning tonight? Okay, so I want to make a nice area for this farm. <laughs> oh, and another thing I forgot to show you. I got myself some turrets. They're sniper turrets. One has extra damage and one has fire damage. And then I've got two in the front also. Ooh, they've killed a few already. Wow. Um, well, where are we going to put this nifty little area now? Probably down here. I've been meaning to scout this cave, but I've been much too busy. with all these different stuffs. <coughs> um, I'm trying to remember if it's a 5x5 five five or 8x8 eight eight area that we will need for this lily pad.
for now. Let's just put it there. And we are going to need a bucket of water. Oh, my glowstone crop is done. Oh, great. Why'd I jump on it? Okay. I've got barking dogs in the background. Whoa, I do not have... What I need. Get what you want, what you want, what you want. Get what you need, what you want, what you need. Just by looking at it. So we got a couple of different essences, essences here. Where's this? Let me see. So you have to replant it every time. <laughs> Alright, so let me think here. Water. So we will need a There we go, bucket. And why did I... Oh no, I didn't. So, we need... Some kind of seed to go out there. Why do I have these seeds down here? Seeds go up. <coughs> Pardon me. Pumpkin, melon. Ooh, I like melon. And let's do regular seats. Alright, so I got what we need. Almost. We need to get a bucket of water. Bucket of water. Here we go. There's the bucket of water. And fertility. Now, we need to take a hoe and hold the ground around it like this. And let's get some melon seeds. Come on now. We're going to put them on the outside of this. We're going to need to put this too deeper. Come on. Do what I say. Do what I want, what I really, really want, what I really, really want. you got to do what I want. <laughs> uh. All right. Oh, you know what? not recording with noise at all. How's that? That's better? Hopefully. There we go. Now let's put a seat there. There and there. There and there. There. This will buff these. I believe up to two squares away from it. I can't remember. But it's a good buff for growing crops. And that was my alarm, I'm sorry. 
is set for every half hour, starting from 9 o'clock all the way to 11.30, actually. <coughs> got a bunch of goodies started and we have a nice little uh, mage set up going and your what I wanted to show you is the scroll of nourishment smelting and thunder this does area damage to all monsters this smelts all the smeltable stuff inside your backpack and this heals you for two of your hunger points this is if I um, start starving to death by the time I get to starvation it will heal my hunger or something like that <sighs> Ooh, sorry um, let's put the string So, I wanted to make some other spell today, and it's not going to be offensive, not this time. It is going to be either a utility or a defensive spell. Oh, I wanted to make some potions too. Eh. You know what? Wait. What? Oh, okay. Never mind. Take that. Alright, so, do we have any learning status? Oh, wow, green. We're finally getting into the green. Not bad. Ignition. Huh. Ooh. I'm gonna get mana regeneration too because that will help me in the long run. So, book and quill, and let's do a self, and um, a haste. And let's call it slow fall. Bam! Alright, so now, this is going to be a different utility than I'm used to. It self-buffs you with haste. <laughs> what? Um, 500 essence? Uh, wow. Um, I'm just, uh, completely astounded. Here, I'll return once I've got all this good stuff, I think. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, welcome back, everyone. So, I got everything except for that essence, because I'm just not sure what essence it's wanting. So... I did manage to find most of the other stuff. Oh, okay, so it looks like that. Yes, Let's see here, where is that? What the 
I just can't figure that out. Honestly. Wow. Maybe if I go 500. I'm gonna go into cheat mode just for this because I am just dumbfounded. Let's try out pure essence. Did that work? That no, worked not. Um, where's that pure essence? Go that way. Uh, high essence? I'm just completely dumbfounded. Would it be that? No, it's not. I'm probably borrowed. What? I'm probably gonna have to look it up. Infused essence. so I can't uh, check it up. I guess we're going to have to do this some other time, guys, because I just have not the slightest idea what this neutral essence is. 500. Wow. So let's get out of cheat mode real quick. There we go. And I believe there was stuff in here and come back to it later. Yeah, I can. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh yeah, potions. So, wait. Ooh, okay. Go over here. Now in order to make potions, you have to always start out with an awkward potion. In order to do that, you need nether ward. Alright, so while that other word is cooking, we need to get some materials up here because I have a material that we need. We... <laughs> uh, okay, so what we're going to need 
up there is a little bit of um, sugar. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's going to be ten burger. We are going to need our guest tears, blaze rods, blaze powder. Um, spider eyes with mushroom netherwort. Okay, I think that's it from the I'll bring this empty bottle over here. Take some chest up there. And. and Potion shells, probably. That <coughs> means we need more potions. Uh, oh, a little bit of glowstone to go up there. That's good to know. Um, have uh, gunpowder also. <coughs> Still need to fix those problems I made. Alright, so let's do some organizing over here. I'll keep those just in case. Like that. see about that. But for now, we need to decide what are we going to make. It'd be nice to make some healing potions, but I do not have any melons yet. So unless the melons out there is done growing. Let's take a look. See, shall we? I want some healing potions. So I'm going to go out there. Let's get my spell ready. And my key. And my anchor. There we go. Hmm. I'm just so surprised how little enemies I have come across.
need some gold to make glycerin melons. Let's just make one set of healing potions for now. Pardon me. Congestion this morning, apparently. sure they're awkward potions. They are. Now we need to put the glycerine melon in there. While it cooks up, we are going to look for, are we going to make it a level 2 healing or a more potent healing? I mean, a longer healing. Well, guess what? You can't make it longer because it's an instant. So, the best you can do is a potent. So, that would be glowstone. <coughs> and then after, I mean, before we make a potent, let's make hmm, potion of healing. Yeah, you can make it through. Okay, okay, good. I knew you could make it throwable, but I wasn't sure if you could make a level two throwable. Alright, so with this being what you see, um, let's say that it has been an episode, and I will catch you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a big fat like, and those who haven't subscribed, come subscribe. I'll catch you all later, and I may have this room more decorated by the time we have another episode. Bye-bye now, and catch you all later.